Good evening, I'm Lee Zurich. And I'm Lauren McCoy. The task force looking into issues at the Sewage and Water Board released its report today, including recommendations on who should run the agency. David Jones spoke with the task force members who say change has been long coming. It's a menu of ideas, all of which have really good a basis and, and foundation to them. The 24-page report by Governor Landry's Sewage and Water Board Task Force dives into a myriad of issues. Billing is like the number one issue, uh, and we think that that can be fixed with a special master and also possibly some funding to help shore up that office. The task force also looked at governance. Businessman and developer Paul Flower sat on the task force. If you look at, at the politicization of the Surge and Water Board, uh, which started in 1958, and then you look, at, you look at what's happened to that utility and the way it's been starved of, of funding, I think that's the core issue. The task force recommends the legislature dissolves the current board in charge of SWB and led by the mayor and creates a recovery district to simplify governance. The board would be made up of a slew of state and some local appointees, with appointees being selected on experience rather than constituency. What's interesting about the Sewage and Water Board, it's already a quasi-state agency, so that wouldn't be necessarily a state takeover although the complexity of doing it would be very difficult. Paul Rainwater chaired the task force. Uh, Gasson Corbin as well, and his team have done some good things, but it's not where it needs to be. Rainwater says he's confident there will be two quick fixes enacted by legislation, appointing a special master to oversee billing disputes and merging responsibilities for catch basins and smaller pipes under SWB's purview. Right now, the responsibility for the beginning of the city's drainage system falls to the Department of Public Works. Flowers says the mission of the task force was always to find the best possible solutions to the utility's many problems. I hope the legislature uh, studies it hard and implements some of it. If there is a recovery district put in place, and I, I, I expect there will be, it, it's probably going to be a multi-year uh, sort of thing. I've predicted all along that this legislature and this governor with uh, super majorities in both houses of the legislature are, are going to continue to expand state control over local government. On the privatization side, there's not been any discussions about privatization of the Sewage and Water Board. The task force also says Sewage and Water Board should look at a stormwater management plan and the reality that a stormwater fee may be needed. 40% of the property owners that contribute to drainage uh, or the necessity to drain their property pay nothing. This is n nothing more than having everybody pay for a f service that is being given to them. Now, the report also calls for a potential future recovery district to reevaluate how a sewage and water board generates power and to look to the state for assistance with maintaining outflow canals. The report also lays out specific alternative funding sources and strategies to allow SWB to pay out judgments and outstanding bills and to be able to attract more contractors. Lauren.